Hey there folks, Joe DeAngelis here with another Samurai Jack episode discussion discussing episode 5. Yeah, episode 5. Last week I wasn't able to get an episode in because of Easter and uh, some spring break and going back to work. It was, you know, crazy week. Good stuff, but crazy, crazy week. Joey D'Angelo's here talking about some Samurai Jack. Now this episode teased the return of the Scotsman. So there he is just one of the most memorable characters from the entire series run. One of the few reoccurring characters, actually, because outside of Jack and Aku and flashbacks of Jack's dad, not too many characters reappeared on this series. One thing I will say, there are spoilers ahead, so beware. Or if you just want to continue the video, or if you've already seen the episode, then continue listening. So, we have the Scotsman leading an army of his daughters, and then another giant army ready to attack Aku's tower. And then Aku is bored, and he decides to strike back against one army, so causing the, the Scotsman's um, daughters to retreat, and the Scotsman stand, stays behind to be a distraction. Now, the funniest thing with all this is that he, he has all of his daughters like about to fight in this battle, and he criticizes all of them for, for wearing inappropriate outfits. Uh, man, it's just amusing. And we also see the Scotsman on a wheelchair, so clearly the 50 years has aged him, unlike Jack, who has longer hair. Yes, he's still physically the same age as he was. Now, he, um, you know, he's, <laughs> you know, he's older, but he can still kick ass. He's got his machine gun leg, and he's shooting at the tower. And then he gets into, and then he basically, like, disses and trashes Aku... But then Aku kills him. It's not like an epic battle or anything. It's not like, you know, you got to see the Scotsman, like, get off his wheelchair and pull out his magic sword and, you know, you know, go to town. But no, it's, uh, he's evaporated. He's destroyed by Aku's laser beams. And then he comes back as a ghost. So basically, the Scotsman is now a force ghost. And I guess they're going to look for Jack at some point. And I want him to have a reunion with Samurai Jack. That's just one thing... I really, really want him to have. So now, we have Ashi and Jack's relationship uh, developing, not in a romantic way, but, you know, they're getting closer. So, you know, after the last time we saw them, where they got out of that, mon you know, got out of those that realm with all the creatures and stuff, she wants to know what the world was like before Aku, and Jack describes it to her. And explains why Yaku is evil. So, that happens. And it's also funny, too, because she wants to know wh what happened, but she gets very angry with him. So, some of her daughter's Vaku training and stuff is still, you know, imbued in her, where she is super aggressive at certain points, even though she ha has her, mo you, know, you know, more uh, uh, softer moments, I guess. She's still like, well, Samurai, tell me about this. And he's like, you're not ready. So, there's that. And then the other thing with this episode is they go t and they find these um, blue creatures and they start attacking. And, you know, that they it's almost so overwhelming for Jack and she has to face an adversary. It's a little vague for me because I haven't seen the episode since last week, admittedly. But um, what you need to take from this is that Jack is taken in by the warrior that we've seen on the horse for the last couple of episodes. We're like, who the heck is this guy? And, and he tells him to go with him, and they, Jack follows him, and then Ashi is, uh, well, left at the end of the episode trying to find him. So this episode, I don't know if it was my favorite necessarily, but it's definitely progressing the story, and definitely leads us a step closer to trying to understand who this horseman guy is. Um, so... Yeah, I'm very interested to see what happens this episode, because it shows Ashi trying to find Jack. And I'm definitely curious to see where that takes her, and where, where we're going to be in the next couple episodes. We're halfway done with Samurai Jack. I just can't, can't believe that we're halfway done with this season. And then by the time this week's episode rolls around, we'll be more than halfway done. 
So what are your thoughts on Season 5, Episode 5? Did you like the Scotsman return? Do you like that he's a Force ghost now? And where do you think Ashi's path will lead her? What do you think Jack is doing with the Horsemen? Who knows? Anyway, see you guys later.